video is going to be on high-end makeup worth every penny so I have seven products that are worth every single penny these are pretty expensive so if you're not able to afford this stuff don't even bother watching this because these are very expensive um, the first thing I have here is the Laura Geller Spackle Skin Perfecting Primer Hydrate and Moisturizes so this is just a primer that you put on before you put makeup on and I'm going to tell you the price let me just look it up because I can't remember off the top of my head. A lot of this stuff I did get in BoxyCharm, so. Okay, so this retails for $40. Um, this is, like I said, this is very expensive, but it's very worth it. If you have dry skin, like I'm struggling right now with oil and dry, but mostly dry for some reason, this is a great thing to try out it's just a little pump it's worth it i promise the next thing is the Too faced diamond light highlighter and this has been out forever um everybody knows about these it's honestly it's, it's beautiful so this i think they still have this i don't know remember everyone went crazy over this when they were out um, so I don't think this is a thing anymore, but you can find them on Amazon, but they're going to be outrageous. They're going to be like $60 when they were probably only, actually, yeah, they don't, yeah, you'll only be able to find, find these on, um, Amazon now. I have it in Connery Diamond, um, and this, like I said, it's very, very pretty, like, very pretty, but they're hard to find now because people... They just do away with things. That's so annoying. Number three, Yervin DK Stay Naked Concealer. The good thing is you can still find this. This is my holy grail makeup. Makeup. What am I talking about? One of my favorite products for concealer. This retails for... I think it's like $20 or $30. Hmm. Yeah, so this retails for $30. If you wait till it goes on sale, sometimes you can find it for like $14. So I highly recommend that. The next thing I have is the Ofra on the Glow Palette. Now I got this in a boxy charm, but this palette is ridiculously expensive. Like so expensive, but it's so luxurious. So basically it's a highlighter palette and a bronzing palette in one. Um, I don't even know if you can get this. I don't know if it was an exclusive thing. I'm going to look it up right now. Okay, let's see. Um, no, you can still get it. This retails for $149. Um, if you're asking me if I would ever spend this on a palette out of my own pocket, probably not because one, that is just crazy, but I did get this in a BoxyCharm, so I, again, didn't pay that. I paid the BoxyCharm price. So I definitely do recommend this. It's very pretty, um, but hefty price tag. Okay, the next thing is the Urban Decay. Where, where the hell am I? Okay, the next thing is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. And this stuff is amazing, as you can see. I've used a lot of it. This, I think, is $40. Okay, so this exactly $40. So I have two more products here and the next thing I have is the Soul Care Keys Let Me Glow Illuminating Serum. I love this stuff just to wear alone or under my makeup. This is a very good um, serum or however you want to use it. It's going to tell you the price.
This is $26, so it's not super expensive, but it is very, very nice. The next thing I have is this Dior Rouge Dior Forever Lipstick. And this I got in, I think, an influencer box. But it's basically just a very pretty nude. This retails for, I don't even know, I would have to look. But this is the only product I have from Dior because obviously it's ridiculous. I think this is probably about $50. Okay, let's see. Yes, they're $45, these. $45 for a lipstick. So that is everything I have for the high end makeup worth every penny. This is just my opinion and products that I think are worth it. Um, you don't have to agree, but if you want to try them, I will have them linked in the description box below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.